Hi, today we are going to cover basic video editing and how to initiate the project with correct project settings. Now before we even start a project we have to know the source of the footage as in what sort of camera was used, an analog, a digital video, a digital video widescreen, a digital video high definition and some of the new cameras available in the market today like Sony's XD Cam EX, Panasonic's P2, um, the media these cameras use uh, is something like a memory stick. Um, these are towards the end of the prosumer spectrum, so these are serious cameras. Also, we need to determine what type of media have be, have, has been used, uh, whether the camera used um, old analog tape, high 8 tape, mini DV tape, uh, was the camera disc based or hard drive based. But for now, we're going to assume we have a digital video camera not a digital still camera as there are many digital still cameras in the market which have been capa which have the capability of taking videos as well however they sometimes don't use the standard video format so footage from those cameras when imported into editing software can sometimes be tricky next important thing is the frame rate since we are doing a PAL version oh PAL stands for phase alternate line which means for us common people 25 frames per second what we use in Australia um, there are other standards as well like CCAM, NTSC um, NTSC stands for National Television Standards Committee which is more or less used by the United States and Japan um, so we have determined two things now um, that we have a digital video camera with PAL settings uh, we'll worry about the type of media in the next part Okay, so we fire up Vega Studio Platinum or Pro. Click File and go to Project Properties. And we see the Video tab. And now we'll select under the Template drop-down, PAL DV 720 by 576. That's our aspect ratio. And 25 frames per second or 25 FPS. This setting is uh, if we have a digital video camera, you may select PAL DV 720x576 widescreen if you have a camera uh, which can shoot in uh, widescreen mode. And if you have a HDV camera, um, then you can select HDV 1080 50i 1440x1080 25 frames per second or HDV 1920 50i 1440x1080 and 25 frames per second again. Observe common thing here is 25 frames per second, hence PAL version. Um, click the audio tab at the top and then from sample rate select 48,000. I'll try to cover audio separately in other videos, for now we stick to 48,000. Then click the ruler tab and from the ruler time format drop down select SMPTE EBU 25 frames per second video. Okay, pretty much project settings are done. One more thing at the bottom we see a checkbox, start all new projects with these settings. Now if you'd be using the same camera always, you may want to check this option for convenience. However, I would like to suggest to leave it unchecked. Now that the project is ready to be created, we need to have all the content. Every new project we start would be in a new project folder. So we create a folder called project the name of your project, Hawaii's vacation, etc. etc. Inside that folder, we'll create four folders video footage or video footage of files, um, audio, where you'll have all your MP3s, your wave files, any audio content, um, another folder called images or stills, and a miscellaneous folder. Each folder would have their relevant content, like I said before. In miscellaneous, you can keep elements you think you will need in the project, but not too sure now. Um, also inside the main project folder, you will save your Vegas project file. So if need be, you can locate your files easily at a later stage for a certain project, and even for backup purpose. Okay, another good thing during editing is to disable your internet totally. Well, serious editing machines usually don't have an internet connection and don't even have an antivirus running. They have separate machines for internet and other work. Why? Simply because of performance. 
and antivirus programs run in the background sucking resources which could be used for your editing instead.